I mentioned Stephen Kinnock. He's on the line, the Labour MP for Aberavon. And, well, just, just tell me what you think happens next, Stephen. Oh, hello there, yes. Well, I think uh, we will be able to get the anti-no-deal uh, legislation through. It's pretty clear that uh, Boris Johnson has lost uh, control of his party in that sense, so uh, that's going to happen. Big question then is what happens with a general election? Uh, I think we need to be absolutely clear that we have royal assent for the anti-deal no, uh, anti-no-deal legislation, so we're absolutely clear there's a law in place to make sure that we don't crash out on the 31st of October. But then I think general election, bring it on. Uh, we obviously can't delay for too long on that. Um, but I also hope that today we'll have a chance to debate and vote on an amendment that I and a cross-party group have put down to say that the purpose of the extension must be clearly defined and it has to be that we get a deal and that we leave the European Union on or before the 31st of January. But uh, and uh, yeah, we're, we're saying we've got a, a we've got a way forward for that. Yeah, but I understood. But your constituency is sixty percent leave, and people who voted leave may well think that you're in Westminster to do what they ask, which is not to get in the way of leaving. I think there's no mandate in my constituency or in the country for a no deal Brexit. Uh, none of the leave campaigns talked about there being no deal. The Conservative manifesto and our Labour manifesto said we should honour the results of the referendum, but leave in a smooth and orderly fashion. Indeed, the Conservatives repeated that eight times in their manifesto. So I think we need to leave, but we need to leave with a deal. And what our amendment today is saying is let's stop kicking the can down the road. Let's not just have another extension without a clear purpose. Let's use the withdrawal agreement bill, which is what was produced as a result of the cross-party talks. It's a strong compromise. Lots of concessions to Labour's position, let's use that during the extension period, uh, let's use the extension period to pass and ratify that bill uh, as the deal in London and in Brussels. Thank you very much, Stephen Kinnock, Labour MP.